Hi guys and welcome to the 10 best factions in RTR Imperium, so Rectum. This video is going to be in two parts guys, so make sure you do like and subscribe to see part two. And when I say best, I mean the most interesting factions to play in the game, in my humble opinion, of course. I have played a lot of this game, to be honest. And remember, when we're doing this, guys, we're only talking about remastered factions, so all the factions that are not remastered are out of the picture. Well, let's start off with a bonus faction. I always love to add a little bonus faction that didn't quite make it to the final cut, guys. And that, of course, is Issa. They are Greeks in Illyria. So it's a really interesting faction because you get to play as a Greek faction fighting a completely different culture, surrounded by a completely different culture. And the play styles of the Illyrians and the Greeks are so different that you're going to be fighting battles against a completely, completely opposite fighting style. And that makes them very interesting. But let's start with number one, guys, and that, of course, is Epirus, a faction that I, of course, have done a campaign on, and Epirus is just a fantastic faction, in my opinion. They have a very interesting history, if you're into that. They start at war with Macedon and the Illyrian Kingdom to the north, surrounded by potential enemies in very, very poor land. So right from the start, you have to struggle to beat Macedon back and take some of the lands around Larissa that are a lot richer than your own lands and cripple Macedon right from the start. It's not for the faint-hearted guys, but it is really, really fun. You also get access to a unit which became my nemesis during the campaign, the Deuteroi, a very low-tier phalangite unit, which is very interesting looking back on it now. Very frustrating to use, but also also, very interesting because you get phalangites that are cheaper and easier to recruit than most other factions, but do remember they are going to absolutely die against all other phalangites in the game, but against normal units, they'll do very, very well. So that's a very interesting one, and overall the Epirote roster is very well fleshed out with some nice finishing units for later down the line as well. On to number two, guys, and the difficulty keeps ramping up because we are talking about Syracuse. Stuck between the Romans and Carthage, you will have a brutal fight on your hands against Rome or Carthage right at the start of the game. However, if you can cripple Rome from the south, then you are in for an absolute fortune of money and the world will become your oyster. It is a really interesting faction right from the very get-go because you are going to be fighting two of the largest empires at the start of the game and as you probably know guys, the Greek roster is a little bit weaker than the Roman one, shall we say, especially the Triarii. So if you see Triarii, run basically <laughs> leave them behind um but it is a really really fun uh, campaign and you do also get some very rich land like syracuse itself is a very rich settlement so you should have enough money to really sustain yourself going forward and one thing i love about syracuse guys is that you can use very very different tactics depending on what you want to do you can control all of sicily and just turtle and blockade the straits at masana or you can go crazy drop your troops off outside rome sack rome and return back home the glorious conqueror Overall, not an easy faction, but a faction that can be really rewarding as you go through the campaign. And if you're looking for something different from the Greek skies, the third faction is the Liberni, an Illyrian faction to the north of Illyria. They start out with the strongest position of all of the Illyrian factions, starting at war with the Iapodes, with Issa, Delmium to the south, and Histria up to the north. With this faction, you can roll through your enemies to the north rather quickly before turning south and unifying Illyria faster than any of the other Illyrian factions. This allows you to get rather rich guys, and then you can do whatever you want to do. You have a choice, you can go for Rome, or you can go into the depths of Greece. You also have the Northern Illyrian roster, which is slightly weaker than the Southern Illyrian roster, so it adds a nice extra challenge with plenty of places where you can get AOR Greek, Roman, and Celtic troops as well. 
Overall, a really fun faction that gives you a lot of opportunities to do whatever you want to do and go wherever you want as well. Really fun, and you're going to be fighting some fun enemies too. Now, we've talked about three smaller factions, guys, so now let's talk about a faction that you pretty much cannot lose because of their great size. And I'm talking about the Ptolemies, the Ptolemies. They are a fantastic faction with an absolutely awesome roster. Not quite as good as the Seleucids, but an awesome roster with not quite as many settlements as the Seleucids. Managing these guys is nowhere near as laborious because most of the land is relatively happy with your rule, unlike the Seleucids. If you are going to play these, make sure you do really like faction management, like me, I know I'm slightly weird, or you put everywhere that you don't want to manage yourself onto automatic management, but it's completely up to you. If you're overwhelmed by that many settlements, it's not the faction for you. The one great thing with the Ptolemies, guys, is the fact that you are going to be fighting multiple different styles of enemies all at once and trying to reunite Alexander's Empire. You can fight the Seleucids, you can fight Kyrene, but you can also fight Axum, go into Greece towards Crete, you can fight the Arabs as well, so you will be able to fight across the campaign a massively wide variety of troop types, which is always really, really fun. On top of that, you do have the Egyptian revolt mechanic, which will revolt inside your lands, adding a little bit of extra spice to the campaign. And like I said before, you're going to have a really strong economy and you're going to have a fantastic roster all the way through the campaign, including elephants and cataphracts. So overall, a fantastic faction, guys. And if you want to see more about the Egyptian revolt, I have this video here. And coming in with the last pick in this video today, guys, is the Dardanians. I think these guys are my favorite Illyrian faction. They are in the middle of a multitude of factions. You have the Celtic Scordisci to your north, the Illyrian Kingdom to your south, and Paeonia, the Antigonids, the Tribali, the Medi, the Denthalate. So you're going to be fighting Greeks, you're going to be fighting Celts, you're going to be fighting Illyrians, and you're going to be fighting Thracians, all in this one campaign, in this small area. They are not for the faint-hearted, though. They are another faction that is relatively difficult, but they are the only Illyrian faction that gets access to Phalanx units, which is pretty insane if you ask me. They also have a really good Illyrian roster, probably the strongest Illyrian roster overall, with some very nicely disciplined troops. And due to the fact that you have enemies all around you guys, it is literally up to you whichever way you go. You can go south, down through Paeonia into Macedon if you want some riches early on, or you can take out some of the weaker neighbours to your north west. Overall, a really, really interesting faction. I'd highly recommend playing these guys if you aren't intimidated with the start surrounded by enemies. So there we have it, guys. The first five in our list. Did you agree with any of those picks? What would you pick? Comment that down below. Make sure you do like and subscribe. And hopefully this has given you a couple of extra ideas for factions you might want to play as well. But thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you all again on the next video. As always, massive thanks to the members on the channel, David, Pascal, and Cowie Psycho. Thank you very much for your memberships. If you are interested in becoming a member, guys, there is a link down in the description below where you can get membership for as little as a dollar a month.